Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look particularly at adding and subtracting complex rational expressions with different denominators. So let's go ahead and get started. So a rational expression, as you know, is when you have something like P over Q, assuming that, you know, excuse me, that Q does not equal zero. That's kind of what it is. And so what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with a complex rational expression. That is when the numerator and or the denominator has a rational expression by itself. So the example we're going to do here, because we're going to add the, the additional complexity or <laughs> to it of, of, of addition or subtraction is as follows. So let me just go ahead and give you the example and I'll try to explain what's happening here. So you got 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3. All this is going to be over 5 over 6 plus 1 over 12. So you can see this is quite the, the nightmare here. This is definitely a complex rational expression because we have a rational expression in both the uh, numerator up top here and also down here in the denominator as well. But then it gets even more complicated. We have addition here. So in other words, the numerator is not completely simplified yet, if you will, if you want to look at it like that. And the same thing is happening down here in the denominator where we have these two fractions or these two rational expressions that are being added together. And so what we first have to do is this. We have to deal with these, um, these, the addition of, these, the, of the rational expression in the numerator and the denominator. And then after that, we deal with the actual division of the numerator and the, and the denominator. So another problem that we have here is that every single one of these rational expressions has a different denominator here. Different one, different, different. This is another problem that we have to address. So we have to find the least common denominator of 2, 3, 6, and 12. So when everything has the same denominator, then we are able to add up the values in the numerator, add up the values in the denominator, and then do the appropriate division of the refined, if you will, numerator and the refined or simplified denominator. So <clears throat> having said that, as I look at this, when I'm trying to figure out what the uh, least common denominator is, the, worst, the first thing that pops out to me is 12. All right. So in other words, if I can get all the denominators to be 12, that's my least common denominator. So how do I do that? Well, it depends on what denominator I'm dealing with. So if I want to fix the 2 here and make it a 12, I have to multiply by 6. And whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Now, for this denominator with a 3, I have to multiply by 4. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And then over here, with the 6, I multiply by 2. And whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So like that. Now, when I finish all this, this is what my new rational expression looks like. I have 6 over 12 plus 8 over 12. Oh, excuse me. 8 over 12. And then I have 10 over 12 plus 1 over 12. Now, what I forgot to mention was is that <clears throat> if I really want to be strict, I would multiply this last denominator here by 1 because I already have a 12 in the, in the denominator. I forgot to mention that. So this is my new system right here. Let me go ahead and go to the next slide here. So I'm going to write 6 over 12 plus 8 over 12, all that over 10 over 12 plus 1 over 12. And so I just simplify this. I end up with, again, let's do this, 14 over 12 over 11 over 12. That's what I get. Now let me move and give myself a little bit more space here. So I have 14 over 12 over 11 over 12. So I just convert this to regular division, if you will, and it becomes 14 over, two, excuse me, that's not clear. 14 over 12 divided by 11 over 12. And what does that convert to? Let me just draw a little arrow down here to show you where I'm going. Make this a little bit neater. There we go. That becomes, now again, when you're dividing uh, rational expressions, you, what you do when you want to work out the division is you, may, you find the reciprocal of the second value, the one to the right of the division sign, and then you can multiply across. So it'll become this. 
this is important, so I'm going to change the color a little bit. 14 over 12 multiplied by 12 over 11. That's what we get there. All right, so this is what we have here. So let me go to another slide. So we got 14 over 12 multiplied by 12 over 11. Now, what do we do here? Well, 14 times 12, do some basic math here. That comes out to about 168. I believe it's 168. And 12 times 11, that comes out to 132. So we're almost done with our final answer. But we can, of course, simplify this. And we can divide both of these by 12. How do I know? Because, well, if you look here, there's a 12 here, and there's a 12 here also. So if I divide by 12, I can get my final answer. So 168 divided by 12 is going to be 14. We just saw that number. And, of course, um, also if you take 132 and you divide by 12, you get 11. So our final answer is going to be 14 over 11. That's the final answer right there. And you can, you can check that also. Um, and so this is how it works. So you can see here that what we're doing is not that complicated. This is just basically addition subtraction. But you have to know all of the prior steps of the things we've learned in algebra in order to be able to achieve what we're doing here. So let me just kind of go back and show you what happened here. So what we did was that we dealt with this original expression right here. 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3, all that divided by 5 over 6 plus 1 over 12. And the first thing that we did was that we found, like I like to call it, the least, the least common uh, denominator. That's what we did. And so we knew that it was 12. So all the other denominators, we had to try to convert them to 12. And whatever you do to the bottom, you must also do to the numerator. And that's how we got these values. Then we were left with this, and our job now was to just combine you know, the, the, the values that have and the numerator and the denominator. And we got these values right here, 14 over 12 divided by 11 over, over 12. That's what we got. And so then we moved to the next step, which is just about rearranging it. So we went from this rational expression form, this fractional form, if you will, to a traditional division problem. And whenever you divide rational expressions, you use the reciprocal of the second term, the term to the right of the division sign, and you can multiply across. And that is how we got our final answer here, 168 over 132. However, you can clearly tell that this was not in the most reduced form. And so by dividing these values by 12, we got the final answer of 14 over 11, which you can kind of see that over here. And so these are the steps that you take when you're trying to add and or subtract um, a ra complex rational expression with different denominators. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Um, I'm, thank you for watching this video. Take care.